vibranium shine in the collection it's embedded Get a slackin', what's the action? Tonight on all things strange, let's get it crackin'. Dr. Strange in the house, what's the verdict? Galactus concludes, you heard it. Stackin' a slackin', what's the action? Tonight on all things strange, let's get it crackin'. Dr. Strange in the house, what's the verdict? Galactus concludes, you heard it. BB drop, Fantastic Four, it's the 50th. Johnny's got the ultimate nullifier, can't miss with it. Silver Surfer taking on Galactus is epic. Blind box format, can you get in with a Selectus? Common covers by Kirby, rare by McCone. Ultra rare vibranium, bringing it home. Dash forward to the Fantastic Four collection. Common to ultra rare, they all perfection. Silver Surfer's clash against the mighty Galactus. Johnny with the nullifier, you know it's madness. Edition drops Thursday, May 30th at 10. Tune in, get ready. It's drop time again. Stacking the slacking, what's the action? Tonight on all things strange, let's get it cracking. Dr. Strange in the house, what's the verdict? Galactus concludes, you heard it. You heard it. What's going on, VV gang? Welcome back to the channel, All Things Strange. It's your man, Dr. Strange, and it looks like we are back in action. So you know I'm asking, are we stacking or slacking on? Looks like we are getting the finale to the trifecta. Fantastic Four, number 50, dropped in 1961. You know how we do, man. We got to check in with the VV fam, get the drop details, get some key collector info of course check out some cgc price values on ebay figure out we're gonna stack a slack on fantastic four number 50 so let's get it okay okay so just want to see what the sentiment is looking like on the drop sleeping comics avid silver surfer fan like myself i, I could dig it brian likes it all right all right big time machine looks like he got a slab dub joint he's trying to get this one on the app as well I have to agree with him man silver surfer number one we need it we definitely need it so maybe we get some more you know what i'm saying we gotta see got casey bmw on the check and hitting us with the bb drop calendar uh if you want to stay abreast of what's going on you definitely want to give him a follow man so yeah a lot of people's digging it can't wait so i don't know my mouth is salivating a little i'm trying to see what's up with this drop so let's check out the details Okay, so we're here on BB's blog article checking out Fantastic Four number 50 and it says Behold, Galactus concludes. The Silver Surfer takes on Galactus in an epic battle. Meanwhile, Johnny has received the deadliest weapon of all time, the Ultimate Nullifier. This release features common, uncommon, and secret rare cover art by Jack Kirby, rare cover art by Mike McCone, and ultra rare cover art by Mike McCone and Ruth Redmond. So, this is going to be dropping hmm, May 30th, 10 a.m. Pacific time. It's a little different. List price $6.99. Got no issues with that ever. Published 1961, so do look out for that mint number. It's five cover variants. Editions is 2500 What? Man, this is what I've been looking for right here. I mean, not so much on the older books, but definitely the newer ones I wanted this a lower fresh. mint count, but... I'll definitely take it, man. I like that. You know what I'm saying? First available edition for public sale is 155. Minimum MCP if you want to bid for this one is 5K. I don't know. At 2,500, what do you guys think? You think you're gonna need some MCP for this or what? What's going on, man? Let me know down below in the comments if you're gonna bid some MCP for this book, man. We gotta dig in further though and see if this is even worth going for on the drop, right? Much less stacking it, right? I mean, signs are looking good so far, right, guys? You know what I mean? Six ninety nine. dollars So the way it's going to break down is 1,250 commons, 500 uncommons, 375 rares, 250 ultra rares, and only 125 secret rares. Man, BB's going to hold back 224 editions across all five rarities, man. So I'm anxious to see what these covers look like, man. Honestly, not too familiar with Fantastic Four 50, so let's check it out. Not wow i haven't seen too many covers made with like this brown 
background before and it definitely makes everything pop man i like this that you might need to explore that you know in, in modern times man that's, that's very interesting right there human torch in college <laughs> hilarious man so yeah you know another 12 cent book i'm a sucker for it give me all the artwork give me all the 12 cent books man i'm gonna just take them all day every day so we got to roll on and see what the uncommon's looking like i love it I, I think this is a banger personally for uncommon so let me know what you guys think but now i want to see what our exclusive covers are gonna look like let's check out the rare Ooh. man all right i like this i like the old school fantastic four font paneling on the left hand side with the sky blue that's a banger I like this man, I'm curious because I think the ultra rare might really hit it out the park, but I'm not sure because if he doesn't pop right and they don't use the right colors, like I might go for the rare over the ultra rare because I really like this rare man. Because we sketch vibes too. I like that. So let's check out the ultra rare. Oh, alright. Alright, I like it because you know of course he's supposed to just be silver, but all the colors in the background are technically bouncing off of his skin, you know what I'm saying? So that's that's kind of fire man i can't even lie what do y'all think rare sketch vibes or ultra rare colorized vibes what do you feel i know i'm curious to see what the coveted secret rare is gonna look like i see a lot of baby blue fontage going on oh all right okay if this is a panel pull and this is in the book at least there's some action going on i like this man i kind of like it. it's very clean you know what i'm saying I wouldn't mind that popping up in my collection, that, that white and that, that sky blue, baby blue like that. That's dope. You know, they kept the colors pretty much all the same in the same palette and wheel. You know what I'm saying? Baby blue, some reds, some yellows, some white. I like it, man. So let me know what you guys think, man. What do you guys think about this drop so far? I want to get a little bit more background info. I know there's no, like, new age variants to be worrying about and stuff like that. But I do want to head on over to Key Collector just see if there's any additional information, background stuff on this book. Fantastic Four, number 50. So let's check it out. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're here on Key Collector checking out FF50. As you can see right there, this is considered a key issue, man. That's all we get on VV is grills and keys, man. So this book had a low of 85, a mid of 235, and a high of 850, and that's in raw form, of course. So let's check out some key facts here. Iconic cover art by Jack Kirby. Classic battle of Silver Surfer vs. Galactus. Third appearance of Silver Surfer, second appearance of Galactus, first appearance of Wyatt Wingfoot, and ally of Fantastic Four, introduction of the Ultimate Nullifier, a weapon created by the Watchers. Ugh. So here's a little brief synopsis of the book. Feel free to pause it and read that. You know? So yeah, man. This is shaping up to be something good so far. I'm gonna head on over to eBay see what people are looking for right now with these slapped up you know what i'm saying so let's head on over and see what's up we in the home stretch man we made it to ebay so we're gonna check out some uh cgc price values you know how i do i hit the sort button highest price for shipping and get right to the nitty gritty see what people are looking for we got one right here a 9.2 for eleven thousand. okay not breaking the bank too crazy but now another 9.2 for eight two so, I mean, you know which one I would grab if I was in the market. Got an 8.5 going for 7.4 thousand. And look like we got one here with a Jack Kirby signature, but it's only a 3.0 and they want 4K for that. We'll skip those. 7.5 going for 2,900. So, you get a you know, rough idea. Looks like um, edition number 49. The last one we got has more price value than this one. Um... But this one definitely has some decent value and has some significance, especially in consideration to the storyline over overall. So um, question is, am I stacking or slacking on Fantastic Four number 50? Um, I got to say, I like the retail list price, $6.99. I got to say what I like even better is the mint size of $2,500. That's scarcity. See, this is what I'm talking about. Like, you don't have to have the most important book in the world to make people spend MCP points. You just got to still have the right combination of things. And I think they hit that um, nicely on this book. If it was a more important book, I get it. It's like it's hard to find that medium of like scarcity and everyone having one. Right. So 
you know, this this might be the perfect book to really experiment with something like this song because I don't think it's that sought after within our community. But, you know, the people who are traditional collectors, they know what's up with this book at the same time. I think it's one of those things where if, first of all, I don't mind going for the drop of $6.99. Don't mind it at all. I like all five covers to be real with you. No matter what I get, I'll be happy. Even, as, even the uncommon on this one, I'll, I'll be happy with that. Will it go above retail? Probably not, you know what I'm saying? But it's also possible just because of this mint count, you know what I'm saying? You spread that across all five rarities and it gets a little thin once VB's taking away theirs. You know, I think it was 2,500, so if VB's keeping 244, you do the math, you know what I'm saying? We're, we're hovering of just a little bit over 2,000 copies and I do think there's more than 2,000 of us on the app. Will all 2,000 be going for this book? I don't know, but um, it looks like I'm gonna be stacking on the drop, you know what I'm saying? And to keep it a buck, I'm I'm gonna keep my eyes and ears open these next couple days. We got enough, you know, a couple days before this drops. And I'm gonna see what the sentiment is because if this seems like really popular or like a lot of people are gonna go for it, to keep it real with you, I'm gonna use some MCP points for this. May not go ham, might spend a little something, you know what I'm saying? Definitely go over that minimum. I try to at least go two to three X minimum, of, you know what I'm saying, on what the minimum is. But again, if I'm gauging the community and people are talking about 40,000, then I might go to 50, you know, I don't know, but you gotta still weigh out like what your MCP points are worth. Cause at the same time, it's only a certain amount allocated for those users and you never know, you can still get selected without needing any MCP. Just depends on how many people are going for the drop, right? So in the aftermarket, definitely gonna be stacking this one. Um, I, I stacked on the other two. I love having series and trilogies and all that good stuff. So why stop now? $6.99 price. What's the worst that could happen? You know what I'm saying? They, they sell it for a couple bucks in the market. I grab those. And, you know, that's why I want to go for it on the drop, at least more than once, because uh, it does have the potential to hover just a little above retail. You know what I'm saying? So why not take a shot in the dark and try and get a better rarity, right? Of course. So that's my synopsis, man. Your boy Dr. Strange is going to be stacking on Fantastic Four number 50. Let me know down below what you going to do. But for now, your man Dr. Strange, all things strange, is out. Stacking or slacking, what's the action? Tonight on all things strange, let's get it cracking. Dr. Strange in the house, what's the verdict? Galactus concludes, you heard it. Stacking or slacking, what's the action? Tonight on all things strange, let's get it cracking. Dr. Strange in the house, what's the verdict? Galactus concludes, you heard it. Phoebe drop, Fantastic Four, it's the 50th.